Welcome to the Eclectic Thrift and Crafter, where we thrift and craft with purpose. It's Tea Tuesday. Or in my world, Crafty Tuesday. Hello. Well, it was gloomy and gray outside, and on days like this, I don't often feel much like doing a project. So one of the things I did today was organize vintage jewelry that I've been putting together for projects for the last couple of years. So let's have a cup of tea and take a look at what I've put together so far and some of my favorite family pieces as well. We'll start out with these lovely earrings. These are all clip back earrings. The two diamond triangles are the most modern. Those were made in France. Next, these are really the only rings that I have. I thrifted this one, it's eight karat gold. I paid $5 for this and it's really lovely. I have not tested the gems on it. This is my mother's Sarah Coventry ring. It's one of the few things I still have of my mother's. And next we have Elot from Israel. My mother brought that back in the mid 70s. It was one of her favorite rings. It was really big, <laughs> too, way too big for both of us. We both wore a size six. And this sweet little ring was made out of butterfly wings. These were very popular mid-century items. This ring is also eight karat gold. I thrifted this as well. I do not know who the maker is. And this was also $5. I do not know how vintage this ring is, but to me it looked like a bouquet of violets. For $2.50, I picked it up. Next, we have this gold fill charm bracelet from the 50s. My Aunt Ruthie gave this to me. She left it to me when she passed away. And it was given to her, I'm sure, by my Uncle Tony because her initials, Ruth Lyon DiCarlo, RLD, are on the little heart. These are some acrylic bracelets that I picked up. My mother was very fond of these when I was growing up. She liked the wide band bracelets. I wish I had some of her bracelets, but I don't anymore. I don't know how vintage this one is, but it had that 60s look. And so for a dollar and a half, I grabbed that as well. Here's a little vintage pearl bracelet, not real pearls, but just fun to wear. Now this brooch belonged to my grandmother. It is from the 30s. I think it's absolutely lovely. It does come with a set of earrings. And there they are. They are clip back earrings. I'm going to have them made into pierced earrings one of these days, but for the time being, they'll be nice and safe on this little scrapbooking spool. That pin my father gave my mother. It used to have a set of earrings at one time. The round green pendant is made from Connemara marble from Ireland. The pastel pendant is another gift from my father to my mother, but the Earrings have been lost and a couple parts are missing due to years of many moves. That's the little costume heart I found for this little project. I'll put a link in the description below how to make one of these memory spools. Now at the end, there's a little Scotty dog pin that I had when I was little. And all the pictures are of myself, my graduation pictures at the end. That's my baby picture. And there's my graduation picture. And then my mother and father and grandmother. That's my mother right there. Now we have my favorite pins out of my whole collection of vintage pins. These are two sets of my favorites. I love that one especially, and that one, and that one, and that one, and that one. 
brush and I like them all. And that one. That little fella needs a new jelly belly. It's a jelly belly bee. And one of these days I'll have to make a new belly for it. Now this is one of my favorite finds. I found this about 25 years ago. It is a studio art piece. I have no idea who the maker is. It reminds me of the work of Calder and Picasso, but I could not honestly say who the artist is. This is just a sweet vintage acrylic pen. It probably came in a kit one time a long time ago, maybe in the late 60s, early 70s, but it's very pretty. Now this is very special. This is Atomic Era. This brooch could be worth up to three to four hundred dollars. I thrifted it for two dollars and fifty cents. I will put a link in the description below to a website for a woman who is a collector and dealer in vintage jewelry. Her name is Carol Tenenbaum. Her book is Fabulous Fakes. Miss Tenenbaum offers this particular brooch complete with the pair of earrings on her website. I will put the ISBN number for her book in the comments below. Share in the comments below if you have any idea who the artist of this brooch might be. Among this selection we have one Sarah Coventry and one Trafari. These colors are just lovely. That large Maltese cross is Emmons. The pins with the fine, fine metal are the much older ones, 50s and 60s. Here we have the vibrant reds. There are the two jelly bellies at the top. These are mostly 50s and 60s pins. Here's another assortment. Most of these pins I have collected for projects. The round pendant on the right is Delft. The cat is a signed studio art piece. If you have an idea who the artist is, let me know in the comments below. Well, it's time to put everything away. I've tidied up and done everything I can do today. So it's time to put things away and go watch a nice movie. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please like and subscribe. Share my thrifting and crafting channel with your thrifting and crafting friends and help me to reach 1,000 subscribers. I welcome your thoughts and ideas in the comments below. Check us out on Instagram and tap that notification button for upcoming announcements of thrifts and crafts. But most of all, have a lovely, lovely day.